Hello, my love. Good morning to you. I hope that this finds you well. I hope that you are rested. I hope you know that I am thinking about you. I hope, I hope that you express yourself meaningfully today um, in some way, shape, or form to another person, perhaps in art, perhaps singing in the shower, whatever, whatever the case may be. Good morning to you. I was thinking about fame and meeting one's idols and what a mixed bag such a thing can be. I found in my life when this happened, and it did not happen often, but when the opportunity came, those people that I had idolized or had thought so strongly about or felt so strongly about, meeting them in person was never quite what one expected it to be, or at least not what I expected it to be. And, and that is, of course, not surprising because we, we are all human and we build stories in our heads about the people that we, that are famous or have some level of celebrity. And if that person is on some sort of platform or they are an author, um, so to speak, and they are disseminating information to a wide number of people or in a medium that scales to such an effect, the relationship is not the same. That is, the person who feels so strongly towards the, the idol, for lack of a better word, views it as a one-on-one -on -one relationship because they feel that they have a relationship because we build stories in our head about those that we idolize. And in my head, that was my relationship with that person and I thought I knew him or her, depending on the context, of course, and, and what they were conveying. But you built a story in a sense that you knew who they were. And for some reason, we tend to think that that's reciprocated. Oh, they should know that I just totally adore them and think that they're fantastic and want to tell them about how they have affected my life or moved me or things to such nature. That one-on-one -on -one relationship that we have with them is not the same as the relationship that they have because they are one person, but on the other side is many. It could be a thousand, it could be a hundred thousand, it could be much larger. And so from that person's viewpoint, they have no idea about us. They do not know who we are in the least. They may have some sense of an amalgamation in terms of previous interactions with fans and things of such nature, but it's a lot more daunting from their perspective in a sense. And that makes the relationship different. It is not the one that you think it is. It most certainly was not when I met them the one that I thought it was. And then you must put on top of that that we are all human and that as much as we may idolize someone for things they've done or accomplishments, there is no perfect person. Just as there is no guru, just as there is no perfect system, there is also no perfect person. And we all have our foibles and our faults. And when we engage with someone through media, we tend not to see those, um, but they are indeed there. And so I always found that meeting those that I idolized, those that I looked up to or aspired to in some regard, uh, was always a mixed bag and never went the way I thought it would or the way I fantasized it would. So food for thought, something to think about, to be aware of, I suppose, um, or not. This is a very niche topic, one could say, and not something that happens a normal occurrence, but I thought I would share it nonetheless. And with that, I will bid you adieu. I will also recommend the music of Poppy Ackroyd. Um, this is for lack of a better term, classical based music, but it is, or I found that it was so moving and at times light and playful, but strong and just moving, I will say again. 
And then I will also recommend Before and After the Book Deal by Courtney Mom, which is a, a book about publishing, which I found very informative um, when I had read it. Uh, when you read it, well, it, it, it is all a matter of timing and, and, and things change in the publishing industry, but not so much. So the odds are whenever you get this, um, it will still have relevance to you. Um, so I highly recommend it. Um, and I will leave it at that and bid you adieu.